Row six is the Bet365 Handicap Chase. It's an auto on 40 over two and a half miles, and Graham Clutterbuck's got the top two. Mirza Anubis and Velvet Top, Centurion Lord Jim Murray, Waycross Darren Thompson, Verglas Alex Cherry, Pay the Ghost Leon Van Rinsburg, Max for Alex Cherry, Caledonia Quillette, or David Robertson, Los Angeles and Satnav, both for Paul Rhodes, Cock and Hen 10 for Derek Hollywood Hinton, and Delilah for Matt Cooper. So that's your field then. Called in and away then. And it's 0 140 handicap. And to return us from last season, or to have their second runs from last week, and get their way towards the first of 18 fences they've got to take. And it's one of the returns they start. Merzer, yeah, it is Merzer and Nubis who's in the lead, gets over the first in front. Oh, that's a good two lengths clear to Centurion Lord in second, then Cock and Hen 10 as they get over the second. Is that some sort of Bingo call is it? Cock and Hen 10? I don't know. It used to be Maggie's Den number 10, but that was last time I heard anything to do with bingo. As they get over the third, they're all over it. It's a good job they're not doing that now. They have to change the name of the bingo call every three weeks, wouldn't they? Anyway, they get over the fourth, and it's Mirza and Newis in the lead from Verglas in second, and then Cock and Hen 10 is third, Centurion Lord is fourth. As they get over the fifth, which is a ditch. And there's a crashing fall there for Delilah. So, why, why, why Delilah couldn't jump that? Goodness, only knows. Anyway, Delilah's out of it. And we'll be back to race again next week. And Mirza and Nubis is in front by about six lengths. To Cock and Hen, ten second. Then Verglas is third. Centurion Lord the Grey, four. Then Max is fifth. And then Caledonian Cullen is after that one. Then Pay the Ghost. And way cross, velvet top and sat nav. And Los Angeles is just about mark. Paul Rose got two greys in this, both in the same colours and both look very similar. So I hope they don't fight out a ding dong finish, otherwise it'll be nervous breakdown time for me. Anyway, it's Mercer and Nubis who's in the lead as they get to the seventh. And they're all safely over the seventh. We have Mercer and Nubis clear of Cock and Hen 10 second. Centurion Lord third as they get to the eighth. They're all safely over that one as well. With Satnav just a back marker. Get to the ninth, it was a little bit slower that one. That'll be the last one next circuit. Jim Murray's grey horse. Centurion Lord didn't jump that one all that well, but it's been jumping okay prior to that. They passed the winning post then. Complete circuit of a track to go. And it's Mercer and Nubis who is in the lead from Cock and Hen 10 second on the inside of Caledonian Quillet third. Waycross is four and then Verglas is five. Centurion Lord is six and Pagano is seven and then Max and Los Angeles and Satnav. And now Velvet Top has just shuffled to the back. I feel they're pretty tightly packed with the exception of this leader who's got a four length advantage. Mercer and Nubis in front. So Graham Clutterbuck bookend in the race at this point. With the leader and the back marker of Mercer and Nubis is in the lead coming into fence 10. Steps over that one nicely. Good jump in second by Caledonian Cullet. And Centurion Lord getting going again. Waycross is still there. Cock and Hen 10 still there on the inside as well as they get over the 11th. Slow jump by Pay the Ghost in the dark blue of the old Van Rensburg towards the back velvet top. Still the back marker. This is a 12th. And over that one it was Caledonian Quillet that jumped it the best and comes through to challenge for the lead. It's three and a line over the 13th. And you can't split them at this point. Coming through on the outside is Verglas. Satnav is also coming through there nicely as well as they make their way to the business end of the race. And it's Centurion Lord over this ditch. Lands in front. But out. Oh, there's a faller there. Satnav's gone. And it's Centurion Lord who's gone into the lead from Caledonian Quillet in second. On the inside is, is Mirza Anubis. Cock and N10 is still there as well. The race is still wide open. There's only really Velvet Top and the Fallers that are out of it. But it's coming down towards now the final four furlongs. The final four fences and the home turn. And it's Centurion Lord on the outside of Caledonia Quillet. Then in third is Pay the Ghost. Verglas is next. Then Los Angeles and Mirza Anubis. Then Cock and N10. Way cross Max. And a long way back Velvet Top. As they come down towards the fourth from home. And over it they go. And it was 
just Canadonian Quillet who landed in the lead. Canadonian Quillet then racing down to the third last. Canadonian Quillet, Canadonian Quillet on the inside made a bit of a mistake. Centurion Lord jumps it better. Los Angeles is third. Verglas is trying to stick on, so too is Waycross. Still two to jump. And Centurion Lord lands in front of Canadonian Quillet. Back in third is Los Angeles coming down towards the final fence. And it's Centurion Lord gets over it nicely. A better jump by Canadonian Quillet. Switches to the outside and tries to close. Centurion Lord's holding on. Here comes Canadonian Quillet. And Canadonian Quillet's getting up to take it. Canadonian Quillet wins the Centurion Lord. His second way across his third. And Payne goes to Mercer and Nubis and Los Angeles and Velvet Top. And all the way back to Max. And it looked like Centurion Lord had got that. But just made a couple of niggly little errors on the way around. That may have cost him Canadonian Quillet. Just the stronger on the running, on the short running as well. So good win there. Another one for David Robertson. Caledonia Quillet, the winner. Centurion Lord for Jim Murray was second. Waycross, Darren Thompson, third. Pay the Ghost, Leon Van Rensburg, fourth. And Los Angeles for Paul Rhodes was fifth.